It is time. I've dyed my hair for the past five years. I've never bleached it. My hair is just blonde enough to be able to dye my hair bright colors and it just turning up a little bit darker. And I've always been scared to use bleach on my hair because I like the quality of my hair. But now I've done plenty of research. So I think I'm ready. I'm doing this. We're doing this. So I went to the Attitude Hair Day and I got to do a strand test of 20 volume bleach and this is how that turned out. You can kind of see depending on the lighting, it is lighter than the rest of my hair, but definitely not light enough. But I got the advice to use 30 volume and to mix it with some of the shampoo and that hopefully will minimize some of the damage, maybe dilute it a little bit. So previously I had my hair blue and purple. You might be able to see some leftover blue. I'm only going to bleach the bottoms, so I'm going to have a very bright pink at the bottom and start with a very dark purple. And the main two colors I'm going to be using are Proud and Wicked, so we get a top, proud at the bottom. Got my trusty ice cream container where I mix some of my stuff. <laughs> I'm just mixing until there's absolutely no lumps left. I add some shampoo to it. Like that. I think we're ready. So the tip that I got um, when at the Attitude Hair Day is literally to not be afraid, put as much as you can on because I think that's also what went wrong with my um, patch test. I did not put enough on. Now because I previously had pinks and reds and purples in like this part of my hair, I really don't expect it to end up platinum. You're really gonna get your hair history back once you like bleach it because it's just gonna uncover all of the shit you did to it. But that's also why I chose to go with a pink at the end because I know if I were to have chosen like green, that is just gonna turn brown because color theory. So for example, if you wanna put blue on top of red, you're gonna get purple, you're not gonna get blue. I don't think it matters too much that it's a little uneven. Um, I might even like blend it up a little bit just to get a more of an ombre effect. Just gonna apply a little bit more because it never hurts. And what I also like to do because I have these two pieces and I don't want it to be like that and then start the one by there. I often have the pieces close to it a little bit, have the armor go a little bit higher so that it kind of matches. And now that I've done the rest of my hair, I'm safer to do the roots because the roots process faster. So it's been about 30 minutes. You can see it's very much starting to become pinkish reddish, which is what I expected. And these two pieces, I can see like blue and pink through them. So we'll see what we get with this. I am back. I washed out all the bleach and I used some shampoo to wash the rest and get some of the bleach out. You can tell that it is a little bit lighter. There is definitely, now that it's dry, you don't see it as much, but when it was wet, it, this was like all dark pink. This part basically looked green earlier because it used to be blue, um, but now it's mostly just blonde, which I'm very happy with. So now, Let's get to dyeing. I had a little bit of dramatic purple left over. I'm just gonna put that at the very top of the roots to make them a little darker. With this part, basically, I'm going to do wicked purple, which is kind of like a purple pink. The ends are going to be this proud pink. For the back, I'm honestly just doing it by feel, especially with the roots. Once it's all in, I can just massage it in. Now I'm going to go in with Wicked for the rest of the purple. And this I'm just doing with my fingers. I find that a lot easier because I can just massage it in, get it on every single little hair strand. 
So I'm just gonna kind of blend these two together. Hi, Jay. You're very curious what I'm doing, aren't you? I really don't want to get you purple. Something. So what bleach does is it actually opens your hair follicles so that the dye can stay in longer. Um, so I actually know that the purple parts which aren't bleached will wash out quicker and so I'm going to be left out with pink parts. Now what I really like about these dyes is they're conditioner based, so all of that like breaking you basically did with the bleach, it really actually nourishes your hair back with the dye because it has a lot of really nice ingredients in it. Um, it always makes my hair feel really smooth and even like a lot more shiny than it was, so I really like that about this hair dye. And the good thing about it being conditioner based is there's not really a specific time or like a maximum time that you need to leave it in. So a lot of times I kind of just leave it in for like over an hour, sometimes even two. Now the top layer, I am making the product go a little bit higher. I just like the effect it has, having certain layers go a little higher, a little lower. Actually, the least precise you are with ombres, I feel the better it looks, because it just looks natural. Obviously, you don't have like some pieces only go to here, some pieces go all the way up to here. I often go like a little bit like that, just with how my hair is cut and the style that I like. And now I'm done. I am going to clean up a little bit, let this sit for at least an hour, and I'll be back. So these are all the pots that I used. I used all of my dramatic. These two were basically half full. These were also like half used. So in total, I would say I used half a pot dramatic, a whole pot of Wicked, and a whole pot of Proud. Okay, it's been about one and a half hours, and I'm gonna wash this all off. This is the result. My hair is always way darker when it's wet, so this is definitely not the final result, but I am going to finish it off with the finishing spray. Just always make sure that the color stays in longer and brighter. And what this actually also does is, because the bleach opened my hair so that all the dye could come in, and the dye went into my hair, and the finishing spray closes the hair back up again. There's a lot more detailed information on the blog, but that's just how I explain it. Like, bleach opens it, you put the dye in, and then the spray closes it. <laughs> and now that we've finished that, I'm gonna let this air dry. I usually hate blow drying, and also when dyeing my hair, I try to use as little heat as possible because that can also strip the color. So we'll let this air dry, and I'll check back when it's dry. It is now evening, so not the best lighting, but this is the final result. And I will check in with my actual outfit and hair in better lighting tomorrow. Good morning! This is the final look. 